sugar tongue slam. Mm-hmm. The illustrious sugar tongue slam at that. The name did come from a poem, and uh, I kind of lived it out. Yeah, the poem was a character. Like, like the character was sugar tongue slam. Mm-hmm. It was just the. Uh, it was what had happened in, in Atlanta when the, like 15 pimps had really got arrested and I, I had to write about it. And uh, yeah, I did, I, poetry was my thing. That was that was where I lived at. I didn't even want to be a rapper. I didn't care. Well, I, you know, I enjoyed hip hop, but I was gonna, I wanted to be on the Roots album doing poetry. I like Ursula Rucker. Well, I'm a bugger beyond hot. My measurement and what? Time rate of flow and energy ain't never gonna stop. Pressure's on, I won't pop. Microphone, I won't drop. Jim Stones, niggas cop. Hey, shit, if I ain't in the spot. It's the Orion of the hot lip. Star of the hip. I shine a light for the future. So my presence again. It's evident I'm heaven sent with time and innocent elements. Reverence for what I represent. So show my benevolence. This is really is my home. I love this city. It's something about it. You know, I get, like, I like, I never could leave. Like I go, I go back and forth. I go down to Atlanta a lot, and when I get down to Atlanta, I miss Philly. When, when I was coming up, like even the rapper, the rappers that I listened to were more up north. Like you know, because I was more into lyrics. I'm more into wordplay, and you know, I'm not saying that Atlanta don't have no lyricists, but you know. So that lyric over on that wall is rap. That one over there is a poem. The, the poems have no boundary. The rhymes I have to stay in the in the box. It's like it, I'm I'm really a nerd, man. I sit in here and just play with my words in the basement. That's what I do. Repping for the heart of the city. Came from Southwest Atlanta, gave my heart to the city. With slugs fly, thugs cry, cause every part of it's gritty. Niggas shooting up the club like they party with Diddy. You get the dicky. I've got my incandescent to fluorescence and the essence. I can break more down the energy for second. I put them on the lessons while I'm smoking on the blessings. The switch hit a light P road, light up the session right on. I don't even know what happened, but it just happened. We took a couple meetings up there, and next thing I know, it's like, we're going to sign you. And I was like, all right, cool. And Def Jam loved it. So me and Cornbread got signed. We, uh, we was, I don't know, we was signed for a, a few weeks before I went out of town. First day down there, got in an accident in Miami, shattered my pelvis. I was going down there to do some poetry, too. That's a crazy thing. And uh, shattered my pelvis. Didn't uh, um, I was down there for like a month and a half in the hospital, but they like my leg was still like kind of stuck. I couldn't. It wasn't straight, so I really couldn't walk much. But they was like Jay wanted to meet meet us. That was when Jay was president. Just became president. So we was like, hey, that was my that was my idol. I was like, right, I'm going. We went up. I, uh, I was popped me a Percocet. And I went on up and they was like, they may want y'all to perform. I said, fine, I'll perform on these crutches. And Jay saw me, he said, uh, just, just sit down, it's all good. So we sit down and talk, you know. He was like, got a monster idea for y'all. I was like, yeah. We left, everything was groovy. Uh, about a week later, L.A. Reed called and uh, he was like, we're gonna buy, buy y'all out of the deal. I said, man, they didn't think I was gonna walk again.